Good afternoon, everybody. This is Mike Brennan here at the National Hurricane Center. It's 5 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time on Friday, June 28th. We're coming on this afternoon to talk to you about a new tropical depression that's formed out here in the tropical Atlantic and some other activity that we have going on. The basin's actually fairly busy for late June, but the most important thing and the biggest threat right now we have is Tropical Depression 2, which has formed about 1,225 miles to the east of Barbados out over the central tropical Atlantic. So we're going to talk about that system first. We're also watching an area of low pressure in the northwestern Caribbean and see that has a low chance of development as it moves into the Bay of Campeche over the weekend. And another tropical wave out here way out in the eastern Atlantic that also has a low chance of development over the next seven days. But first, we're going to take a closer look here at Tropical Depression 2. The center, as we zoom in on the satellite image, is located here. Now, there is bursting thunderstorm activity, uh, again, about 1,225 miles to the east uh, southeast of the island of Barbados in the Lesser Antilles. The depression is moving off quickly to the west at 17 miles per hour. Right now it has maximum sustained winds of about 35 miles per hour, but that's going to change. We are expecting the system to strengthen pretty steadily to a tropical storm tonight or tomorrow and then be a hurricane when it approaches and moves through the windward islands uh, as we go through the weekend and into early next week. So there are sort of three main points we want you to take away as you head into the weekend, especially for folks watching in Barbados, the windward islands and in the eastern Caribbean. So the depression is expected to strengthen and be a hurricane as it reaches the Windward Islands late Sunday and Monday. And we'll take a closer look at the forecast here in just a minute. But there's going to be a risk of uh, hurricane force winds, heavy rainfall, storm surge, and rough surf uh, in those islands. We don't know exactly where those worst conditions are going to occur, but it's likely that we'll see hurricane watches issued for Barbados and portions of the Windward Islands uh, later tonight or early Saturday morning. Uh, and uh, then interest farther downstream in the Central and Western Caribbean We'll need to monitor the progress of the system. It's too early to determine where those impacts might be later on in places like Jamaica, Hispaniola, Puerto Rico, or even Cuba as we go later into next week. So let's take a closer look at the forecast here. Here's the center of the depression again, over 1,200 miles east southeast of Barbados, but moving very quickly to the west at 17 miles per hour. And we expect a westward to west northwestward motion over the next couple of days through the weekend that's going to bring the center of the system near and over the windward islands as we go from uh, sun. Sunday night into Monday morning, and then out here into the uh, eastern and then the central Caribbean as we go from Tuesday into Wednesday. So we are expecting again the depression to become a tropical storm tonight or Saturday and become a hurricane by the time it reaches the Windward Islands on Sunday and Sunday night and uh, continue strengthening even into the eastern Caribbean and be at hurricane strength uh, as it moves perhaps near or just south of Hispaniola or near Jamaica or eastern or eastern Cuba by the time we get to the middle portions of next week. So in terms of hazard timing in Barbados and the Windward Islands, this is the most likely time of arrival of those tropical storm force winds. We're looking at uh, Sunday night into Monday morning. So you still got a couple of days to get ready, have that hurricane plan in place, listen to your local officials in those islands and they'll tell you how to get ready and protect yourself this weekend. Uh, as we go into the e portions of the Eastern Caribbean, if we were to have say tropical storm force winds in Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands, those would most likely occur Monday night into Tuesday, reaching Hispaniola, the Dominican Republic and Haiti uh, Tuesday and Tuesday night and uh, Jamaica or Eastern Cuba Tuesday night or into Wednesday. Now a reminder, uh, forecast will change. Every six hours, we're gonna issue an updated forecast on this system. And forecasts for weak and developing systems like tropical depressions are a little more uncertain than they are for tropical storms or hurricanes. So we could see some changes in the timing or the exact track of the system as it begins to take shape. This is the chance of hurricane force winds over the next five days. The greatest chance is in places like Barbados and in the Windward Islands, and that's where we're likely to see those hurricane watches issued uh, later tonight or tomorrow. On the rainfall, we're looking at widespread rainfall totals of three to six inches across Barbados and the Windward Islands. Again, that could contribute to localized flooding in these areas as we go from Sunday into Monday. Don't know exactly where those heaviest rainfall amounts are going to occur, but we could also see heavy rains uh, farther north into portions of the Leeward Islands and even farther south into portions of Trinidad or Tobago. Uh, one other thing I want to remind you of uh, that's new this year here at the National Hurricane Center is we have uh, automated Spanish translated products for Spanish speaking customers in the Caribbean. So you can see here for Tropical Depression 2, we have the public advisory translated into Spanish, the Tropical Cyclone Discussion, 
and also the key messages here in Spanish. So those are going to be posted uh, almost instantaneously to hurricanes.gov after we issue the products. They're automatically translated and posted to the NHC website. So for folks in the path of Tropical Depression 2, again, a reminder to please stay tuned to the forecast as they change and evolve here over the next few days through the weekend. Be on the lookout for any watches or warnings that are issued for your area and just keep checking back into hurricanes.gov and your local meteorological service. I do want to briefly touch on the other two systems we're watching. The first one is out here in the uh, Northwestern Caribbean Sea. It's a broad area of low pressure. It's kind of disorganized still. Uh, the th shower and thunderstorm activity is mostly displaced to the east of the broad center. But as the system moves westward across the Yucatan Peninsula and into the Bay of Campeche, we could see some opportunity for development as we go through the next couple of days. So interest in the Yucatan, southern Gulf of Mexico, the Mexican coast, we'll want to keep an eye on the system. Regardless of whether it develops, there will be the opportunity for heavy rainfall and flooding in portions of these areas as all this shower and thunderstorm activity continues to move westward. The other system we're looking at is out here in the far eastern Atlantic. It's a tropical wave. It doesn't look like much now. It doesn't have a lot of shower and thunderstorm activity that's organized yet. But there is a 30% chance that we're looking at for this system to go on and develop. It's perhaps some slow development, 30% chance of it becoming a tropical depression over the next week or so as it also moves across the tropical Atlantic. So again, a reminder that we are here in hurricane season. The Atlantic Basin is quite busy. We got a lot of things to look at, but our primary concern is Tropical Depression 2, which is expected to affect portions of the Windward Islands as a hurricane later this weekend and early next week. So stay tuned for more updates on her, uh, here at hurricanes.gov. We'll be back with you uh, over the weekend. And uh, uh, that's it from here. I'm Mike Brennan. Thanks.